Hey, what's up everyone? Mr. Eli here with another exercise for you to do. Uh, this is really good for warming up because it's really important to warm up before we like really start to shed. Uh, cause if you don't warm up, you know, you can hurt yourself and we don't want to do that. Trust me. So this is a good thing. This works the right hand. Uh, we're not even going to use the left hand for this, uh, entire thing. So what you're basically doing is you're gonna be using a metronome for this, and I have mine set to 60. You can go slower than that even, like 40 is a great place to start on stuff. Uh, but uh, metronome is like really, I think, one of my favorite practice tools because it doesn't lie to you. And really it's the only way to learn how to play fast is with a metronome, because you start slow and then you gradually bring it up when it's like fluid and you just keep going until it's up to tempo. You know, that's really the only way that I can think of uh, to like really effectively learn how to play fast if you've never done it before. Um, so what this exercise is, you're just gonna do an open string. I'm gonna set this metronome going. All right, and for, for today's purposes, we'll just be playing around here, like between the two pickups. If you have a P bass with just one pickup, you know, this is about where it would be. Uh, and I'll probably do another video on right hand placement soon. So what you're gonna do is we're just gonna play eighth notes. So two beats, two uh, notes, excuse me, per beat. And just on the open strings, and we're gonna do this on every string. So I'm just gonna show you one string. Let's play the, uh, let's play the D string. This, I just find this is a really good way to get your right hand. If you focus on being relaxed, it's a good way to get your right hand, you know, producing a nice full tone. It's like a good art, a good attack, but not too much of like, you don't want to do that all the time. Uh, you want to be able to control it. And this is like really good for controlling uh, the right hand and our, and our articulation. Uh, and then you can take it through all sorts of different permutations. Like, you know, we can do triplets, like, and all the different permutations of that. There we go. Every second, sixteenth note. Every third. Every fourth. That's what I like to do. I'd recommend doing that five minutes every day. I try to aim for more, uh, and it's been helping me a lot, you know, helping to relax and like get a nice full tone and like a difference in articulation. Like I've only been doing it for like a month now and my, uh, you know, the two fingers that I play with are way more even now. Uh, this exercise, by the way, I kind of, Got, uh, I kind of lifted a little bit from Mike Lee, for, uh, a snarky puppy. He has a 
great spot in an interview where he talks about that. Uh, so if you can find his interview on scottsbasslessons.com, you know, he's a real great source of knowledge and information. So you go ahead and check out that uh, interview as well. All right. Thanks. Uh, I'll see you next time and happy practicing.